At the end of the 19th century, the vast plains of Savo, Kenya, were the site of one of the most terrifying animal encounters in history. Two lions, now known as the infamous Savo man-eaters, terrorized railway workers, killing dozens in a span of just a few months. In 1898, as the British Empire was building a railway through Kenya, the workers faced an unexpected threat. Two large male lions began attacking the labor camps at night, dragging workers from their tents and killing them in brutal fashion. The death toll was staggering, with estimates ranging from 35 to over 100 victims. The lions were eventually killed by Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson, but their legend lived on, sparking countless debates. Why did these lions target humans so aggressively? Were they simply bloodthirsty killers? Or was there something else driving their behavior? Recently, scientists have turned to DNA analysis to solve this mystery, and the findings are fascinating. By studying the remains of the Tsavo lions, researchers discovered that the lions may have been suffering from severe dental injuries. One lion, in particular, had broken canine teeth and significant wear, which would have made hunting large prey like zebras and buffalo incredibly painful. With their usual prey becoming harder to catch, these lions may have turned to an easier target, humans. The railway workers, often sleeping in makeshift tents with limited protection, were vulnerable, slow, and plentiful, making them a convenient alternative for these desperate predators. The environment of Tsavo is harsh, with brutal heat and sparse resources pushing even the strongest creatures to their limits. In such an unforgiving landscape, survival often depends on adaptability, and these lions adapted by targeting the most accessible prey available to them. For the workers, every night was filled with terror. Many believed the lions were not animals, but evil spirits or cursed beings sent to punish them. Despite their efforts to protect themselves, the lions kept returning, more determined and more deadly each time. What makes the Tsavo man-eaters unique is not just their aggression, but their persistence. Most lions would avoid humans unless provoked, but these two actively hunted them. The new evidence suggests that their dental pain and the difficulty of hunting larger prey likely pushed them into this behavior. This wasn't mindless killing, it was survival. While the Savo lions became legends for their brutality, it's now clear that their actions were rooted in the harsh realities of survival. They weren't mindless killers, but apex predators adapting to a changing environment. Today, the skulls and skins of these lions are displayed in the Field Museum in Chicago, a reminder of their terrifying reign over the Tsavo wilderness. Their story is not just one of violence, but of how extreme conditions can drive even the most fearsome predators to do the unthinkable. The Tsavo man-eaters remain one of the most chilling examples of the thin line between predator and prey. Their story has captivated scientists, historians, and storytellers for over a century. And with these new discoveries, we're finally beginning to understand why they behaved the way they did.